Well, a lot of you had asked me questions on how to activate your sexual energy uh, from my first video of the secrets of Kama Sutra. Uh, well, the many exercises. I'm going to put up some very basic ones in my coming videos. But today I'm going to talk about something which is very essential uh, about sex that you got to know. Well, I'm sure most of you must have had chicken biryani in your life. I mean, it's a very delicious dish, a perfect blend of rice, chicken and masalas. You might get all the ingredients right, but if your chicken is undercooked, your biryani is not going to taste well. The chicken got to be tender and juicy and, and well cooked. Uh, so is you for sex. You got to be well, well cooked, juicy and ripe most importantly. You see uh, mango? Mango is juicy and very tasty when it's ripe. So are you. You're going to be very tasty uh, when you're ripe, when you're well cooked, when you're juicy. Unfortunately, most of you, most of us are having sex uh, from the age of 15 or 16 and it's unfortunate. I mean, even our genitals are not out properly and we're just having sex from that age. It's sad actually because uh, most people's sexual lives are such a great misery. They're not even experiencing sexual pleasure anymore. Forget about ecstasy. Ecstasy, I mean, it's something else, not even basic pleasure. Well, you might be experiencing your pleasure, but trust me, over a period of time, it's going to, be become, it's going to become so dull and dry, you'll not even have uh, pl uh, pleasure, forget ecstasy. So, what is this ripening business I'm talking about? Well, I'm talking about building an inner strength, stability and uh, equilibrium within ourselves. This is very essential for your human body. Doesn't matter you're having sex, or doesn't matter you, you're meditating. This thing is the must. Without this, you, your energies won't raise up and blow your mind out. Doesn't matter if it's in sex or, or, or meditation. It's, it's, the energy that goes up is the same.